is it possible to bore the cylinders and sleeve back to stock bore to avoid plasma coating failure later down the road? Um, I do not know the integrity of the cylinder. My gut instinct is to say, yes, you can sleeve it. My hot rodder side says, A, I don't know the measurements off the top of my head. I'd have to look that up. B, I know that Riva already sells those sleeves. So that leads me to believe that people are already doing it. C, I know that guys who compete in hydro drags are running sleeved engines. So, yes, it's doable. How affordable is it? Not very. <laughs> but it is doable. So, David, yes, your question theoretically is very possible. Um, the fact that Riva sells the sleeve kit for the, C for the Ace engine, for the 1630 engine, already lets you know that they are, uh, they are encountering people who are having plasma coating failures. And I know people are like, no, Kevin, it doesn't happen. No, no, no. The plasma coating's great. Um, I've seen failures. Um, so it's hard to deny what I've seen with my own eyes. Uh, but the number is percentages. You know, we get into a percentage game, you know. The guys who are in Hydro Jags, the guys who are doing the canal racing down in Dade County, um, you know, a lot of these big boost guys and modified guys, guys are all running mid 80s, 90s with CDUs. Um, some people go, oh, yeah, 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 I don't like the plasma coating. Other people are like, ah, plasma coating fails, and you just, you know, it happens. You just got to deal with it. And other people go, ah, screw that noise. I'm going to put a sleeve in it. All right. Half of the performance or half of the R&D team for, well, not half, two thirds of the R&D team on at Riva Racing say, we don't like the plasma coating. One third of the team says, plasma coating is fine. You'll be fine. It's fine. So, you know, you're, you're kind of running into, you know, Coca-Cola or Pepsi. Which one do you like better? You know, Burger King or McDonald's? Ford versus Chevy. Hey, guys. Thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.